Now, one of the things I love about your work is although you've got a serious story to tell, your, your video narratives and all your work is full of humour. You use humour as a kind of weapon. Well, I think I like to use the absurd and, and surprise people with things that they're not expecting because I, I like to surprise myself with that, actually. Yes. I like to mess things up a bit, and I think that if you're doing things that are quite unusual, then um, changing things around, mixing things that yeah, don't normally work. Yeah, but also mixing work, the past and the present, and too. Mixing the past and the present yeah. quite distinctly. I work using other people's gaudy sort of colonial ceramics. Um, the gaudier and the better. It originally started when I had one and I couldn't stand its head, so I put a bag on its head. And it was in the studio with a bag on its head, and I thought, oh, that's great. There's, there's, another, there's, there's another journey coming up. <laughs> it's a see. beginning. <laughs> <laughs> like these, some of these, yeah. Yeah, that's right. With the sculptures, there's a... I'm, I'm doing a number of things at once. One's, one, I'm, I, I mock the past, and I mock antiques and um, certain types of furniture. And at the same time, I mix them with high-vis, fluoro, which is a representational metaphor for colonisation for me. When I did the installation I did call um, Joan Ross Enter at Your Own Risk, yes. which was a completely fluores yeah. fluorescent yellow lounge room, yeah. I didn't get sick of the colour. Like sometimes I just bury my face in it and just stare because I just really I enjoy it. All those materials you love, you know, your, your wonderful psychedelic colours, the old pots, the fur, how do, and you're very tactile. How do you convey that in your video narratives? Well, it's a very much like a collage, I think, yeah. the way I do it. I collect lots and lots of images. I wanted to see a Joseph Lysett painting move because I felt that the lack of movement caused it to be a little bit dead. I sort of thought it was old work, it needed to come alive. And so as I thought about it coming alive, I started to think about how I would like to revision the past. <laughs> I, I think you're quite rare among artists in having such a, an absolute determined theme to your work. It's, it's, it's the platform for everything you do, your thoughts, your imagination and everything. Is this going to continue? I don't think you can live in Australia without considering the past and considering every day when I go to the beach, I'm, I'm, I think, imagine living here in this paradise and then having the colonials arrive. I think like that. And so it's an ongoing, it'll stay ongoing until it, Stops. Stops. <laughs>